Alright folks, we're looking at the New Testament documents, F.F. F. Bruce, and we're looking at the at um, the writings of Luke. F.F. F. Bruce writes, Luke takes this risk and stands the test admirably. One of the most remarkable tokens of his accuracy is his sure familiarity with the proper titles of all the notable persons who are mentioned in his pages. This was by no means such an easy feat in his days as it is in ours when it is so simple to consult convenient books of reference. The accuracy of Luke's use of these various titles in the Roman Empire has been compared to the easy and confident way in which an Oxford man in an ordinary conversation will refer to the heads of Oxford colleges by their proper titles, the Provost of Oriel, the Master of Bailey Oriel, or the Rector of Exeter, the President of Madeleine, and so on. A non-Oxonian like the present writer never feels quite at home with the multiplicity of these Oxford titles, but Luke had a further difficulty in that the titles sometimes did not remain the same for any great length of time. A province might pass from senatorial government to administration by a direct, direct representative of the emperor and would then be governed no longer by a proconsul but by, by any imperial legate. So it is amazing when you look at Luke mentioning historical titles of Roman um, Roman officials, and when atheists or critics come and say Luke's got it wrong here or there, they just really are ignorant at the incredible accuracy of Luke as a writer of the Gospel of Luke and also the Book of Acts. Thank you.